Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's home buyer tip. Along with me is Brian Thompson with NRL Mortgage. Brian, how you doing? I'm doing great. Yourself? I'm doing awesome. So today's tip is three things you must do when buying a condo. So, Brian, three things you must do, you as the buyer, when buying a condo. What's number one? Number one is with your real estate agent, you got to have a good real estate agent. And this goes along with it is finding out if that project is non-warrantable or warrantable. The short definition means, has that project, that condo project, been approved through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac? Why is that important? Because it's if it hasn't been, you can't, you're not eligible to finance that property on normal, conventional FHA, VA financing, etc. So your agent can walk you through that. You as the buyer, it's going to be hard, hard to tell. That's why you got to work with a great real estate agent who can help walk you through that. Yeah, because I, I, a lot of these, a lot of these details aren't. You know, there's no flag that says warrantable or non-warrantable on the MLS. And I'll tell you, it has been a big problem since 2008 and the crash because many of these properties uh, have a disproportionate number of rent or rental units, not owner-occupied. And why is that important? Uh, it, because it, became, it can affect the homeowners association fees or the homeowners association itself. You're not going to run into a condo project that doesn't have a homeowners association, and it needs to be a healthy association, right. which means funded, under 16% paid on time, under 16% delinquencies within the, the condo project itself. So if it's over that 16%, you might run into the unapproved project so, itself. And that can kick it out of warrantable status which means that you would not be eligible to finance that on regular terms okay so what's number two number two i would kind of go along with that warrantable and non-warrantable finding a healthy homeowners association fee so if you find one that is warrantable odds are you're going to have a homeowners association that's healthy financially but you need to find that out because if there's problems behind the scenes you might run into financing problems well and you know a thing we've seen a lot too is more so in the self-managed associations uh, in the smaller buildings, but people not having enough reserve allocation in their budgets. Yep. And if they don't have a minimum of 10% of the annual budget, then that can also kick it out of the warrantable, non-warrantable. And, and if it gets kicked out, you're basically looking at, what, 20% down minimum? You could be. Yeah, I mean, it's going to impact. I mean, it's okay. case-by-case scenario once you get there. Um, but that and the number of rentals in the, in the actual condo project, okay. those things affect what type of financing you're eligible for. Yeah, and there's a mortgage questionnaire that goes that goes to the board or the property manager that has to be filled out. So uh, and there's like 30 questions I know because I've filled out about 500 of them over my over my career, my 20 year career. So it's incredibly important that you're asking these questions up front because you could be wasting a lot of time on a place. You know, of course, it'll be a place you fall in love with, uh, and make sure that you're not uh, you're not going to set yourself up for like major disappointment. Because uh, I've had lots of deals fall apart where people didn't ask the right questions, and yep. I, you know, as a listing agent, I tried to get in front of it and say, "Hey, do you know? Do you know? You know?" And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And then we get to the point where the questionnaire comes out, and they're like, "Oh." You know, this isn't going to work. So what about number three? Number three is homeowners association fees on that project. So we, I mean, Scott, we've seen homeowners association fees range from a hundred to over a thousand dollars a month. Right. And if you're tacking that onto your monthly payment, it can no doubt affect your qualification status. So you might find a, a condo that you're approved for, but all of a sudden you're tacking on $800 a month in association fees. You got to be careful with that. I have seen dues as high or higher than the property taxes. It's crazy. So yeah. you, they, they definitely have a huge impact on on the buyer qualification aspect mm -hmm. of it. So, all right. Anything else you want to add? That's it. All right. Well, awesome. So I hope this uh, tip's been valuable. My name is Scott McCark with Verde Real Estate Group, along with Brian Thompson with NRL Mortgage. Brian, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do they do that? They can call or text at 763-442-1232 or email at brian.thompson at nrlmortgage.com. And if you want to get a hold of us at Verde, the number is 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888. Call or text. And again, we hope this has been useful. And if you want us to be of further service, please let us know. Thank you.